The fuzzifier. Imagine a world where everything is fuzzy. Um, no, 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 guys, 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 stop. All right, today's gonna be a pretty cool video. I've been wanting to do this for a little while. I was digging through storage a couple weeks ago and I found something that is an absolute gold mine, to me anyways. What I do on YouTube is, is very, very cool. It's my dream job. I've always been interested in filmmaking in some way, shape, or form, and I've always had cool, unique ideas. But the cool thing is that I have done this all my life to a certain extent. I've done this since I was probably six or seven years old and I started drawing all these different inventions and ideas that I thought would be just like cool if they existed in real life. Then I picked up a video camera that my parents had when I was, you know, 10 or 12 and I started filming and then I combined those two and that's kind of what I do now. But I think it's really cool how I just connected this. Like a couple weeks ago, I was digging through storage and found all these notebooks of inventions that I had drawn up. Inventions, I called them machine pads. I found all these notebooks and I was like, oh, I have those drawings, but I didn't even realize that like that's what I do. In this crate, I have 10 notepads, one a year since I was 10 years old, that I drew inventions and machines and ideas in. It took me a very long time to draw all these. I probably did two a year. So over the course of five years, I drew all these inventions and ideas and I have not looked at them since. So I'm, this is my first glance at all these. I'm gonna share it all with you guys. And I think it's gonna be really cool to compare ideas I had when I was 10 years old to now. This is like my Mr. Beast curve. Like I predicted kind of where I would be and my girlfriend was like, that's crazy. Like you were destined to do this. So they're gonna smell like absolute vintage childhood. Um, Okay, well, I was bored one day and I was at a religious event from the old religion that I was in. As a 10 year old, I had this five star notebook and I was with a friend, I was sitting there in a row of seats. There's like a thousand people in this giant auditorium and I'm sitting there and I'm just like absolutely bored out of my mind. It's just not the place for me. I grabbed my notebook that was supposed to be for like church notes for the Bible and uh, I drew this like, it was like against the rules for me. Like my parents would have got me in trouble if they saw me drawing on it. I drew my first invention, so this, um, uh, somehow got labeled the machine series and this is volume one out of ten. I have ten volumes of inventions so this is gonna be really cool to go through and uh, let's begin. All right so the first one's pretty small because half of it was church notes that I ripped out. It had to be like a, a perfect volume so volume one I have 39 machines. This is ten year old me drew the pond drainer. It looks like a like a tractor of sorts with spiked wheels and uh, <laughs> The purpose of this, I remember, was you would drive up to a pond and drain it. And that's why I invented it, because that didn't exist at, when I was nine. I think they have that now. It's like this sewage machine or something. Sometimes I would take an invention and create more better versions, right? Because I evolved very quickly as a young infant. I even added little, little choppers that would like chop up the soil and fish that it would suck up for the... Hey, I was nine. What were you inventing at nine? Uh, so next we have the um, driller excavator with shower. I might've been like six when I made these. I don't even know at this point, but this is the... What? <laughs> they were expecting something like next level. I was three, okay? I don't even know how old I was. That's something we would come up with today. That's the problem. <laughs> I might even recreate some of these. I'm not gonna show you guys the genius ones yet. I'll patent those. But yeah, the driller excavator with shower, it looks like it drills while it excavates and you can shower in the back. <laughs> it has off-road capabilities. There's a small mining cart up front, so that's handy. I'm not really sure what's why there's like eight exhaust pipes. The shower's convenient if you were to like get dirty. Okay, uh, next we have the rock picker upper tree planter. What this would do is um, pick up the rocks and then it would plant trees. I could have guessed that, probably. <laughs> Nah, -uh -uh. but I have a, a filtration system and as it picks up the rocks, it actually chops them up, right? And any livestock you may suck up. And it has a little plow, like a scoop. Spiky wheels, looks like it's pushing a mining cart. So it's like a combine that picks up rocks and then it plants trees, but you could probably put like any crops behind it. It like picks the crops and plants them at the same time. What other nine-year-old came up with that? I'm just saying, I was like dozens of years ahead of my time. No, I was, I was probably like dozens of hours ahead of my time behind. Next we have the mega driller. It looks like it just drills a really big hole in the ground. And there's like a little stomper up front. So that must be like to make it have a smooth path to drive on. It has a hose that sucks up all the dirt that it drills out. And then there's a little compartment for it to store all of the stuff that it drills, whatever it's drilling. But hey, this is when I was nine. We're evolving here. They can only get better. Here we have the office crane plow. Okay, I'm not, these are horrible. And what is that? The office crane plow. 
I'm, uh, why would you need to combine? <laughs> Cody is blind and autistic. Why would you need to be in the office while, when, when, when does a crane need to plow? <laughs> why are we combining an office building a crane and a plow? And it looks like the crane is lifting a car, which is also plowing. Pick, it's, there's like a combine on the front. Why, why are there so many things in one? You would never need that. That's a terrible invention. I give that a one. We should rate them, yes. I give all the previous ones a one too. Those are terrible ideas. The pond drainer was good. I remember, I I'd like elbowed my buddy. I was like, dude, millions of dollars in, of invention surplus money from that. Next we have the armored driller plow rock picker upper, which is basically a combination of all the previous ones. Uh, <laughs> And this one has uh, three plows, spiky wheels for more traction, and it looks like it has a much more accurate drilling tip. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Now we have the gold mine digger, which they have nowadays. It's just like a thing that it just digs caves. That's a terrible idea, Cody. Uh, now we have the Explorer with Gamma Ray. What this could do, this was a flexible articulation machine built with molly bearings. What this could do is traverse aggressive terrain. And the vehicle could actually do this, like a, like a worm or something. And I don't know why it has a Gamma Ray on the front. I, I was thinking ahead of my time. I give that one star as well, probably two for the Gamma Ray. This is very genius. I could actually use this one. Here we have the wire fixer ground leveler. And this is the equivalent of like a boom truck for electricians, and this is in case they had to fix the wires, but the ground wasn't level. They could just level the ground. Instead of using two pieces of equipment, they could use one. I give that th two and a half stars. That's a prop, you could use that. We have the loudspeaker, and this is basically a car with a speaker on the front, pushing two people kissing in a basket. And there's a man on a unicycle pulling it. The 10 stars, bro, that's the best invention ever. Anyways, here we have the Explorer 2. I don't even think I made an Explorer 1, but this is the second one. Oh, there's two Explorers that I just didn't know what two meant at the time. So there's a Explorer going under and there's one going over. And this is if you wanted to explore. I would give that like a three out of Five. Here we have the egg rider. No, no, guys, don't leave. Guys, come on, don't leave. Everybody left. I, I invited an audience to come watch me reveal these because I said there was gonna be some really good ideas, but I guess I, under, I overestimated uh, my knowledge level. It's a unicycle in the shape of an egg, basically. Guys, we're almost through volume one. This will go really fast. Oh, the, here's where it all starts. Okay, the, I promise, guys, we have good ideas here. This is, this is very genius, very genius for nine. I have the lumberjack machine, which people subsequently came out with. You see all the people on TikTok, it's the thing that grabs the tree and snips it off and then turns it and then cuts it into logs. I invented that at nine years old, which not nearly to the level that I designed, okay? This involves a hose that would suck all the leaves off of the tree. I don't know why you need it, but it was ahead of its time. And then you have a saw that cuts the stump while another saw just shreds the tree in random places. Environmentalists, do not worry. I have an, a model later, I, th I think if I remember right, that plants more trees behind it. But also cuts down twice as many. I give that idea a five. Here we have the uh, plant waterer, germ cleaner, and air purifier. So this would be very useful in China. These are very explanatory names. <laughs> I don't think you were very creative. I, well, listen, but the design was down. But yeah, this would water the plants and purify the air and clean the germs out of the air. Very useful for uh, harsh environments. I give that a one. The lava miner. I'm getting more articulate. See, look, these, this is a very genius. This is very detailed. This has a suspension under the cab in case you get bumps. A spiky wheels, always for traction, of course. It would mine on each side, the front and back, have just drills and claws that dig into the ground, and then it would suck up all of the uh, the rocks. I don't know why we're it's it's sucking up lava. I think there's like there's like a containment area where it sucks up lava. But I think that's genius. They don't even have that yet. They'll probably come out with it right after I make this video though. I'm copywriting that right now. That's model M115. We have the Egg Rider 2 Roller Pod Zero Gravity Pod Dozer. That's awesome. Which is <laughs> this is a genius idea. But basically, it's a bulldozer that was zero gravity. It would just float above the ground, which they do not have. M116 was the model of that, in case a caterpillar, you want to use that or anything. There's going to be therapists worldwide reading these and diving deep into your psychology. <laughs> um, now we have the, who the hell, Nate? These are the worst names ever. I'm, I should just rename all these. Mega Rock Picker Upper the Second. Oh, what does that one mean? Um, it picks up twice as many rocks. Oh, <laughs> I, I couldn't get it. <laughs> I don't know why we're like harvesting so many rocks. Oh, because my grandpa would actually have to pick up rocks in the cornfield. And I, he made me do it sometimes when I was younger and child abuse, but um, this would pick them up instead of me. M118, we have the uh, Crusher Plow Snow Sucker. This looks quite primitive actually, but it's like a Lamborghini with a pipe on the front to, to, to suck up the snow. It's like a super fast snow plow. I give, that's a good, 
I like that model. We're nearing the end, don't worry. We have the mountain climber, which uh, this machine was pr made primarily to climb mountains because of all the climbers that um, were not physically capable enough. You could hop in this and just climb the mountain. Up next, we have the uh, Lumberjack 2, which um, has a much larger leaf hopper and looks like it was more efficient at cutting down the trees. Still not planting any though. I give this a, a good review. Lumberjack the third. If I remember right, guys, by the way, I have a hundred lumberjacks, so we'll have to skim through those. But eventually I get very efficient at cutting down the trees. And this has a massive blade on it that easily cuts down very large trees. It has, it's on tracks. It has a counterweight in the back, has a self-leveling cab. I was getting way ahead of my time. It looks like it has automate. There's antennas on top. There's a hose to suck in the sawdust. I'm much farther ahead of time than anybody now. I agree with that, Cody. You just agree with yourself. No, no, no. Now we have the armored stump picker tree planter. There's vehicles like this already that pluck stumps out of the ground, but this plucks them and plants a tree. Look, see, I, I'm way ahead of time, guys. Environmentalists happened like, what, two years ago they were introduced? I was already ahead of my time, at age nine. I was thinking of the environment. So you, it kills the tree, but then it plants another one. I give that one a good review. Very self-sufficient. Look, 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 <laughs> see, the tree planter. I came up with that much longer ago than anybody else has. They plant them by hand still. And I was like, why are they doing it by hand if you could just drive the tree planter? It looks like a very compact design. It holds seeds, water, and dirt. Not sure why it's holding the dirt. If it's, you could plant on, like you plant on rocks. You could drive through a city and plant trees. It's just laying them on the ground though. So there was a defunctional mechanism there, but it's on spiked wheels as always. Everything was on spiked wheels. I. I've lived out this this dream. You'll go from like tree planter to like defabulated gravity <laughs> deoxidation. Tree planter. <laughs> okay, now oh, you were very right, sir. We now we have the hovercraft ground compactor quadruple triple. <laughs> what the? F this is a very special machine, special ed. It's floating, but it's also compacting the ground, which is impossible. I don't know why this was even invented. This is a terrible invention. This is a one. Oh my God. Okay, holy. Crap. Wow, this is nostalgic. Lumberjack the fourth. I have a hundred of these. Lumberjack the fourth has a massive blade on it. Self-leveling cab, giant double-sized hose to suck up whatever's in the air. The birds. It's on tracks with more tracks. There's like extra wheels. It has a massive arm that just reaches up and the blade is much larger than it needs to be. There's no reason to have a blade this big. You just kill everything with this. So that's genius. M125, do not, okay. The, literally the exact same thing, but the Lumberjack 4 with high power. I just made a higher power version, just like companies do nowadays. You gotta make your profit. I just turned up the pump a little bit. The cab is integrated into the track set, so it's very much more compact. You have like more controls. Um, what the f Now we have the, the Lumberjack Zero. Um, After the fourth? I, I just, I think I, I went too out of hand and we, the company ran out of profits at this point. This could not cut down anything. I give this a one. This I can't is a, help but notice that they're all basically about cutting down things. The, I don't know why I was obsessed with cutting things down, but this is a horrendous idea. This would snap in half immediately. It is armored. The Lumberjack Zero Mega Armored. I, that's a very plausible invention. Okay, what the the lumber storer ground leveler. I just renamed a forklift a lumber storer. So we have a forklift with a compactor on the back, which no one has invented yet. These are all multi-purpose inventions. I must say, companies disappoint me. They're much behind their time. I give that a one. Uh, now we have the Lumberjack 6 Mega, which is a, a plus size version of the Lumberjack 4 and 5 high power. It's the same as last time with just a bigger blade. You're just, you're just cutting down larger trees at this. Probably not even efficiently though. This is just absurd. I give that probably max rating. Then we have the mega ground leveler. And this just like, looks like a very heavy, long crawling machine that levels everything. These are very specific names. I will say I was good at naming things. They should, if companies want to hire me to rename your stuff, I could probably work for a a decent rate, but rename all of your products. The uh, Explorer 3. It floats. Yeah, yeah, this one floats. Anti-gravity is just coming out when I was nine. It looks like it has like a gamma ray thing on the front again. Hovers though, very practical. Nobody has that yet. This is lovely to go through. I remember I was so smart at my age. Cody is blind and autistic. What the f this is out of This is out of control. The Lumberjack 7 Ultra. Oh my. 
Uh, so I came out with the Ultra model because I felt like some customers are probably experiencing difficulty winding up the massive blade. And so what we did was come out with a bigger blade. Now we have the multi-purpose dozer. It looks like a bulldozer with a, a bulldozer on both sides. Why did they not come out with that yet? A bulldozer with a bulldozer on each end. Nobody's come out with that. And it has a wrecking ball in case you want to bulldoze and wreck at the same time. This is absurd. I don't even want to review this. Egg Rider 3. Why are we... But why is it the shape of an egg? I don't, why was it the shape of an egg? I don't know. That's a horrible design. And why is it like a unicycle? Nobody's gonna buy this. This is, I give this a, a zero. Okay, this is just stupid at this, uh, evil iPod. Oh, cause iPod. <laughs> the iPod. Okay, that's, I was ahead of my time with the name, but not the invention. That was horrible. We're almost to the end of volume one. Okay, the super nerd truck. This was a delivery truck for nerds, the candy. And I figured they could shoot the nerds out. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. It's a horrible idea. Hell yeah. Okay, so um, we are very much ahead of our time now. We have the Lumberjack 8, friends. I should hire Apple, like the, the studio they use to introduce this. The Lumberjack 8, this is far ahead of its time. The cab is, is uh, subterranean. It's like below the whole deck. Not only do you get the giant wheel, but you get a massive chainsaw for zero reason. This is just a flex at this point. Very good invention. Lumberjack 9, horrendous. This, the cab is just in the back. This is no different, actually. You probably are getting ripped off and scammed if you buy the Lumberjack 9, I will say. Oh my God. Okay, things just leveled up. Just got real. We have the Lumberjack 10, guys. We have the Lumberjack 10. They're not inventions, they're all just Lumberjacks. Well, let me get this straight. If I didn't invent the Lumberjack 1, how would we have gotten this? Oh my god. The, exactly, right? And so what we have here is the full mega saw power. FMSP for short. It looks like the same chassis, but with like a thousand saw blades on it. This could destroy massive forests, the Amazon probably. I don't want to do that for my people at YouTube, but this machine does. You made the machine. If, if, if NASA found another Earth, this machine would destroy it completely immediately. Okay, and that, that's the end of volume one. I got bored and just put, drew stars. But let's see what volume two has in store for us. You'll be excited shortly. This, this gets better. Okay, now, okay. Yeah, no, this gets better. Look, look, the back is covered in caviar again. I don't know why. This is volume two. Well, you guys are gonna love this. The uh, front cover, as soon as you open it, says um, Lumberjack. lumberjacks. Oh. <laughs> and then mostly some that was scratched out. So like most, this is probably mostly Lumberjacks, but it says 75 machines. We're, we'll rush through this, don't worry. The Evil Eye 2, we don't need to review this, this is a horrendous idea. <gasps> There's some badass shit here. The Juggernaut, a very complex, ahead of its time invention. Now this was slightly Star Wars inspired. This is a very armored machine with wheels and tons of antennas and like a lookout tower, but this is impenetrable. You're not getting through this, very good idea. The, the this is not even reading that. The Evil Scissors. It's, Cody is blind and autistic. The Mega Magnet Office. This is, uh, it's a large driving office magnet. Maybe they need to like, I can't think of a single use for this. This is horrendous. The pod. Now this is unique. The pod is a aquatic vehicle that only travels on the surface. So you mean like a boat pretty much? I mean that's what it is. No, 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 this is round. The carrier. This is actually genius, actually genius. Imagine a forklift, but you have more than one thing to lift. The carrier, it's like a forklift that could lift multiple levels. Imagine if you could lift one thing and then another pallet, then another pallet. The, absolutely genius, do not, do not steal that. The, the, the carrier too. So the carrier too is the same as the first carrier, but it carries one more deck. And it has the cab under the frame, very genius. So you can't get hurt by falling materials because we had a defunctional uh, model that killed 26 people one time. The skimmer boat. They actually invented these shortly after I turned 10. You know those fast speed boats? The really long fast speed boats? So I came up with that and then I see all, tons of people drive those now on the water. No. Okay, now we have the Mega Wheel Explorer. Very self-explanatory. Now we have the Micro Miner. This is something that you would send in robotically to, to go investigate if there's cavers stuck. You would send in the Micro Miner. You see I, la I labeled the lava core there. Um, so it could, it could travel successfully down to the Earth's magma. We're working on the design, it's quite complex. Here we have M211, the rock melter. It would pick up rocks and melt them. Oh. Now this goes hand in hand. If you buy the rock melter, you're gonna need M212, the lava spitter. I don't know why we're, we're driving something around that spits lava everywhere. That sounds like a war machine. You could use that in war actually. Okay, we have the house builder because I was, I was in construction. I was tired of building houses for my dad. Hey, I, I got paid $1 an hour. Uh, so I built something to save myself. As you can see, it's fully capable of laying bricks, but unfortunately that would only build like a tenth of the house. That does not make sense 
actually. The rocket pod, I, I just, it's a rocket. I just drew a, a horrendous looking rocket. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. M215, we have, once again, everything is in succession. I thought of myself a year previous, how I invented the pond drainer, and I thought we need a second one of those. So I invented the pond drainer too, which could successfully drain ponds twice as fast, or two ponds, however you want it. Uh, looks like you can, there's two drivers. I'm not sure why we need two people for that though. And it puts all the water in a trailer. The other one just sprayed it out everywhere. The light up area truck. Not sure why we couldn't call this the light truck, but this is the light up area truck. And as you can see, it's a truck with light bulbs. Cody is blind and autistic. Guys, guys, wake up. Hey, guys, wake up. Oh, okay. So I remember, look, as you all know, I had some problems in school. Not because I was the smartest kid, because the teachers hated me sometimes. I actually invented the teacher torturer. Uh, oh, no. I, I, look, 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 this is, look, look, guys, I'm, I'm a different man. I'm a, I'm a changed man. But it screams, you're fired, as it, there's a bed of nails, um, but it, I don't think it shreds them or anything, but it does, it does scream, you're fired. The missile launcher, the, AKA Kim Jong-un's daily driver. Yeah, I was a little late to this. I was the second person to think of this. Maybe you haven't seen this. No, 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 I didn't see anything. We didn't have the internet when I was nine. Oh, the, okay, right back at it, we're at the Lumberjack 11. The Lumberjack 11 is actually smaller than the, t I don't know why I even took time to design this. Okay, now we have the, the racer car. Guys, guys, come on, these are good ideas. <sighs> Okay, they didn't believe in me when I was nine and I'm gonna market all these, I'm gonna trademark these and you're gonna regret not joining, not investing in all these because now we, ha we have the simple pod. I think this was like for people in prison, if they didn't wanna be in prison cell, they could just put them in the simple pod and send them off to sea or something. That's a terrible well, idea. I, well, I do. I just show the blank space. The Micro Miner 2. This one has a headlight. I forgot headlights on the last one. So we made a whole new model and just ripped people off. Yeah, a lot of people were complaining. What the f Now we have the M223, the giant multiple decker pedestrian bus. And this is like a London bus, but like three times as tall. And it emits a ton of emissions. It's like absolutely belching smoke out the back. Very inefficient vehicle. We should probably come out with another one of those, which is exactly why we invented the air tester purifier. This vehicle would test the air and then purify it. Guys, wake up. Guys, guys, these are good. These are good. I promise we're getting to some good ones. Okay, this is awkward. Um, you can go back to bed, never mind. This, because uh, I invented the clock time teller. Where have you seen a car with a giant clock on top with clock wheels? It drives around, it's a giant clock. A giant driving, giant driving clock. Why, why does it need to be giant? With clock wheels. You know what they say when people get hit by those? They got clocked. Okay, now we have the Mega Drag Racer, and this is just a horribly designed, maybe, I don't know, it might work, actually. Very, very fast vehicle. That's horrendous. Uh, the, 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 the garbage truck. That was already invented for sure. I think I had a, I, I, I spaced out when I drew that one. We have the antenna vehicle. Look guys, maybe I overhyped these a little bit, but the, we're, volume 10 has some good ones, I think. But this is the antenna vehicle, M228. This is, it's just a car with a bunch of antennas on it. This is stupid. The dump truck. It's just a drawing of a dump truck. I think I was going through a rough time when I drew these. The landfill compactor. These just all exist. This is stupid. The, the tracker double. I don't know when you would use that. That's Why kind of- Why are your drawings getting smaller? Like you're not well, using the whole page. Well, um, I think I got lazy and just wanted to fill in multiple pages. So. The carrier semi. This is- um, It's just a semi. This is- <laughs> um, the, the, I'm not even reading that. No, 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 no. The mega different? wheel. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, I, I just I just got sloppy there, man. I'm, I was going through a rough time. I think I was on drugs or something. The whirl truck. I just drew whirls. I think I just wanted to draw for a minute, guys. This better not be another whirl machine. This the circle truck. I drew it out of circles. This is stupid, dude. The mind that drew these it was behind its time now, and I probably I was definitely on drugs. The line machine. It was made out of lines. This is okay. The wheel machine, because because it had wheel. This is stupid. Why is there a <laughs> RoboZilla? <laughs> this existed because I went to a monster truck show with my dad and they had the RoboZilla. It's like a semi that transforms. Remember that? Yeah. It spits fire. I invented that, but how it should be invented. And it has a much larger torso, upper uh, much worse. shoulder. Yeah, yeah. The I, I couldn't draw the details, but it's getting there. Guys, don't click off the video. I promise I have genius ideas. You'll probably want to watch this to steal those. But hey, this is what I drew and this is how smart I was. And I just wanted to flex this on everybody because nobody else was at the level that I was, which is why I invented the paint 
baller. It's like if you want to play paintball, but it's just, it's like a truck that shoots the paintballs. It has spiky tracks, so you could run over people probably. I, I don't know. Lumberjack 12. We have an inverted saw blade. So the teeth are on the inside of the saw blade now. Cody, that wouldn't cut anything. The teeth are inverted. Okay. The Lumberjack 13. Listen, guys, guys, these are, these are great ideas. I'll probably stop designing lumberjack suit. What the f is this? The super simple pod. Blood just drew a circle. I don't know what you would even use that for. The tracker triple. So this is the tracker double, but with another track. I feel like there's gonna be one with four tracks. The, 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 oh, maybe. No, 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 you're wrong. It's the juggernaut the second with actually less armor. It's, it's just a really large, disgusting vehicle. Now we have the racer car too, which actually looks much more, I was, I was discovering three-dimensional designs at this point. Probably aerodynamic to some extent. Definitely not safe though. The wind generator air maker. And this would be used in environments where there's not much wind, where they have wind turbines to create wind for the wind turbines. How is yeah. the initial wind generated though? It spins. Using. No, this, like a diesel engine. Now we have the music maker. We have a car with a giant loudspeaker on the front. Guys, we're almost through this one, I promise. Listen, I'll probably do be done in a few hours. The Lumberjack 14. And it's a very impressive, we have blades everywhere. There's a lot of blades. You're good. You're good. All the deer, come on through. More deer! Wait a minute. The Lumberjack 15. I think these are just getting impractical at this point. It's just giant hovering saw blades. These aren't really inventions anymore, actually. I feel like I was just drawing at this point. My brain was absolutely falling apart. The Lumberjack 16. So this is a really, um, oh, wow. yeah, I like that one. this could chop down multiple thousands of forests at a time. This one's hovering and it has many varieties of saw blades to serve all of your needs. Okay, okay, yeah, this is good. We have the Carrier 3. It's like a giant parking garage that drives around and carries things. There's a little camera and it detected like a, a cat in front and it stopped. So we were ahead of our time on safety mechanisms. I, I decided I didn't want anybody dying anymore. And this was a point in my company where there was a lot of lawsuits. So most people got ran over. The theater system. So this is a car with a, a giant um, screen. It's like a drive-in theater, but a driving theater. And it would just, it, it's the, the car is the theater. The scorcher. So you know how, you know how like firefighters, they would start controlled burns? This is like that, but very uncontrolled. So this would just, just burn everything. We have the speeder. This is just from Star Wars. This doesn't even exist in real life. That's not even a new invention. The money printer slash spewer. So this would print the money and then you can see it's labeled. The, the spewer there would spew the money. Any more questions about it? <laughs> the pulverizer. Now this one was quite efficient at pulverizing things. And this was just a giant gun that pulverizes the things. And there's another, there's a scope to make sure that you're pulverizing the right thing though. Now we have the annihilator. I was obsessed with things that destroy things. This would drive over things and then annihilate them. Um, the mega mower. This just exists right now. This is just a bush hog. We have a large mower. Hey, can you pay attention, please? These are really good. Now we have the, the tractor plow. We have a tractor with the plow on the front. That's very, very nice, Cody. Ah, I remember inventing this. My teacher made fun of me and nobody believes me to this day, but they made fun of me for it. The milk butcherer. This didn't butcher the milk. It milked the cow and then butchered it. There's a lot of bad ideas, but there's some good ideas here and there. And this is one of the good ones. This machine would be very long and the cattle would be herded into one side and they would milk them and then immediately butcher them for the beef. So the, you get milk and steak all out of one machine. And you, as you can see, there's a stack of steak on the end and a man blur that out. There's a guy throwing off a bloody cow head. But uh, very smart. Nobody else was thinking of this. The cows are frowning as well. So I think that's worth noting. The camera machine. I, I don't know why the camera is so big, but we need a really large camera so big that something has to hold it. The fire safety hose mega. We need this to put out all the fires. This is just a giant fire truck. Instead of fire trucks just spewing out a little bit of water, this spews out all the water at once. The ball chucker. It's like what shoots the baseballs, but this one just does. It's like a trebuchet. This is taking longer than I thought, guys. We've only gone through one and a half. Just speed. Maybe um, only talk about the good ones. But guys, these are all good. Lumberjack 17. No! Stop! <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll only show you them if they're good. How about Lumberjack 18? Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Stop, guys. Here, this is new. Uh, how about Lumberjack 19? <laughs> hey, we're getting to the end of the series. These are getting bigger. How about Lumberjack 20? <laughs> no, 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 guys, guys, guys. Hey, I'll give you, I'll give you free donuts tomorrow. Hey, Cody, this actually sucks though. You should like speed off a bunch. Of I'll be done in a little bit, dude. Keller's gonna be like face falling behind the camera. Lumberjack 21. What do you think of that one? I like the symmetry of it. 
Yeah, 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 yeah that one's, that's a good one. How about uh, Lumberjack 22? Wow. Any, any questions about that one? It's just more stuff. No. How about, um, okay, Mega Mower 2. These are done. We're going to just flip through these. Light Up Truck 2, bigger lights. A light Up Truck 3 with light bulb storage. Yeah, guys. Lumberjack 23. More saws. Uh, <laughs> Is there another lumberjack? No, 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 no. I, I swear, this is unique. This is uh, lumberjack twenty-four. It's invisible. That's the most random thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. Our technology was far out of its time. You don't have to sneak up on trees. I'm just gonna go out on the limb here. I just got a feeling you didn't want to draw lumberjack twenty-four. <laughs> I think I did get tired of drawing lumberjack twenty-four. That was volume two. So that was that was really good, guys. If we can get a round of applause for all the. Okay, this is really good. Hey, we're making good time. You guys are good, right? You had 20 minutes to spare? Look, we're almost on volume three out of 10. I was probably 12 at this point. We have 81 machines. It's a slightly larger book. Uh, guys, guys, these will be good, I promise. This was the red version, so I made the, po the, the, the poisonous punk. I don't know what the f that f is. This is like a driving syringe. Look, man, I was going through a difficult time there. I got sick and tired of drawing in red on the first one, so now it's black again. But this is sweepy. Really invention, just generally I wouldn't even drive that ever. You guys are personally gonna love this, I know, but this is the Lumberjack 25. If no, it's with it, no, this is the invisibility cloak turned off. It's bi bigger and better. Uh, the loudspeaker too, much larger loudspeaker. The deer meat grinder. I remember this because I had to grind deer meat when I would hunt with my parents. So this chops the deer up. People thought I was psychotic when I drew this, but it's very practical. In case people didn't want to do it by hand, they have butchers. This is a machine. It sorts the fat from the meat and puts it into a bowl. That's kind of messed up. And then we have the deer meat bagger, which would bag the meat. Okay, we have the stereo truck. I, I did not, I don't claim that one. The recycler. This is just a garbage truck with plastic in it. We have the super tall person lifter. And this just looks like a really tall man lift with a different name. I think you knew about that one. I don't think that one was new. But the name is the bridge replacer. Instead of people building new bridges, they're built off-site, and then the bridge replacer carries it in and puts it back where it goes. That's very genius, I think. The vicious animal holder. Guys, I was like 10 when I came up with these. The futuristic concrete truck. I imagine a futuristic concrete truck looking like that. That's pretty cool. That's, yeah. yeah. Like that. The six-wheeler, it's just a vehicle with six wheels. This, there's nothing special about this. The, oh, oh my god. Here we have the mega super simple pod. <laughs> okay. Cody is blind and autistic. Hey, just make a buzzing sound whenever you don't like one of my inventions, okay? Um, so now you have the, <laughs> the book eater. It would just eat, it would shred books. That's horrendous. The house builder too, lays bricks again, but larger brick capacity because they were just running out of bricks. The super excavator, faster at excavating. The new version street sweeper just has two sweepers. There's nothing special. The beehive harvester, cushion pad for harvesting the beehive, very, very safe. The weed recycler, it's like a mulcher for weeds. It, picks the weeds and shreds them. The steamroller, that already existed, but it has Titanic stacks. It looks like actually part of the Titanic is on top. The super wrecking ball. We were starting to get ahead of our time here with designs. As you can see, there's a wrecking. Oh, wow. um, Drawing quality is going on. Yeah, I, was my, I hired another engineer there. Super wrecking ball was good at uh, wrecking. The rock shredder, just shred rocks. There's nothing unique about this. The sign planter machine. Instead of people having to like physically place signs, this would do it. The weed whacker, but it hovers and the weed whacker part is like a helicopter. Horrible idea. The tornado buster. Instead of the tornado sucking it up, it sucks the tornado up. Nobody's come out with this, but if you could suck hard enough, you could technically suck a tornado out of the air. <laughs> I mean, yeah. The mega mud bogger. The paper maker. Harvest trees and makes it into paper immediately. Very smart. The log splitter. Sucks up logs and splits them. How much simpler could it get? The train track layer. Guess what that one does? I don't know. Lay train tracks. Wrong. It repaints buildings. <laughs> Bro! I forgot about this. You're about to see the Rodotron series. Forget the Lumberjacks, this is way better. But they get very detailed and my, my mind was out of its, I was like on shrooms. But then we have the car compactor, the tree transplanter that already exists, the r nitrogen refill truck. Tyler, you could use this. That's a good one. The nitrogen refill truck, it's, it's just a truck that carries nitrogen. The new version blueberry picker. My mom actually made me pick blueberries in the summer and I absolutely hated it. So I invented the blueberry picker. I invented only things that solved my own problems. So I was a very greedy individual. The telephone pole wirer. I didn't have to do that as a kid, but I saw people doing it and it looked miserable. What, dude? You definitely didn't have to wire your telephone. 
Well, the new version fire truck, that looks horrendous. Mega Magnet 2, Mega Magnet 3. The new version combine. Now this is a very aggressive machine. This could shred literally anything and harvest it. The stereo truck 2. Scrap metal reproducer. I, I'm not sure what that even means. The mega roller 2. The railroad track cleaner cleans the railroad tracks. The destroyer does nothing but destroy, which they do not have. I copyright that once again. I trade. I trademark that invention. What about, I think battleships. This, no, this is a drivable battleship. Imagine it just shreds everything. Imagine you're in war and you just drive the destroyer too. Much better at destroying things, bro. I lived out my dream. I'm I'm doing this right now. The destroyer three, much more destructive. A lot of anger. I was. It's probably a rough day. Oh, the destroyer four. They're like, this is what Van Gogh drew when he was had schizophrenia and he's like going crazy. That's what these are. The carpet remover recycler. I had some sane days. I was never on meds though, by the way. The concrete remover. I, my dad made me personally bust out concrete with a sledgehammer, so I did this. The upside down machine. Look, it's just, it's just upside down. You just wrote the page wrong that day, and you were like <laughs> No, there's suction cups on the wheels, so I thought of it previously. The hydraulic lifter, just lifts that things. pretty tame, honestly. Yeah, so here we have the road layer two. Now this is number two in the Rototron series, we'll get to that in a minute. It lays roads, but better. There's little heaters for the asphalt, the tar. I, I thought ahead, I knew, I knew what I was doing. The clothing maker. Not sure why that needs to be a vehicle. The upside down machine too. Log splitter too. These are dumb, that's dumb, that's dumb. The rock shredder too. The maple syrup maker. That's just trees. The mega fish net machine. So this, I think this was made to catch fish. The pond drainer three, very slight improvement. We had some issues with fish jamming up the blades. The deer meat grinder too. This had so much power and physically you could see it sucking up the deer as they walked near it. <laughs> Why are the deer willingly walking into it? They're walking into a blade that just chops their head off immediately. The paper maker two. The invisible machine, get it? <laughs> There's a guy being choked. He's like grabbing his neck. <laughs> the flattener. The vicious animal holder too, made for holding larger, vicious, more vicious animals. What is that animal? Uh, it looks like a dinosaur. I think I just watched Jurassic Park that week and I was... <laughs> the, yes! The Destroyer 5. Destroyer 6. Destroyer 7. That was a Monday at school for sure. I was getting schizophrenic. The Book Eater 2. Yes, this was a Monday at school, yes. The Underminer. Yes, dude, I drew the Underminer. When Incredibles came out, I drew it. You drew that before the movie? after the first Incredible. Well, the Before movie? the second movie came out. When was the movie? Not important, man. I probably thought of it way ahead of anybody else, though. This is the dot. Nice one. Yeah. What does it do? I think it's a really, really distant view of something. <laughs> I'm getting to the end of the volume, and that's why I was probably lazy. The Well Digger. <laughs> the Destroyer Zero. It's, there's a man eating it. It's so small and puny. Oh. Um, <laughs> Wait, he's destroying the Destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> the Trench Digger. That already exists. Sweepy 2, really good at sweeping. Stereo Truck 3, I, I think I really like sound systems in trucks. The House Builder 3, the Grass Planter, there's a whole vehicle for that. The Destroyer 8, and then I do a three-dimensional machines logo. I'll probably copyright that, so don't, don't take that one either. The word machines? Yeah. So that's volume three. This one's number four, it's 2,000 pages long. So there's 72 in this, but we'll go through them. Destroyer 9. Hey, guys, 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 I'm, I'm almost done. <laughs> The speed machine, and it's just a truck with a giant engine in it, but it says V6 Lamborghini engine. But there's like 37 cylinders. The water tower refiller. How do they refill the water tower without this? The furniture maker, because back in my day, they had to make furniture until you invented this. The tile layer. My dad made me lay tile on a bathroom floor that day and I was just sick and tired of it, so I, had, I invented the tile layer. The light rod maker. The amputator. There's a claw grabbing a man. He looks reluctant to go. And it's like a tumor on his leg. It says bad wound, and then it chops those limbs off. Very few people have had it. Um, uh, fatality from that. The electricity maker. The money maker too. The alarm machine. Very loud. Uh, the bridge maker. I already made that. What's it called when you forget things? I don't remember. I don't remember either. The snow melter. The landmine planter. And it floats. The motor home deliverer. And you can see Brady needs this. Uh, just delivered a mo motor home. <laughs> the tire maker. The fence maker. I just invented things to make things, to make people's lives better. The house painter. All my inventions are to make your, okay, the, the, the house destroyer actually. So, so oh. <laughs> uh, uh, I had the house maker and then the house destroyer. I didn't, I didn't. The enemy blaster. It's just shooting things at people. The deer shooter. If you didn't want to go hunting, just install the deer shooter and it kills them for you. Um, That's awesome, actually. Mount it to the tree, wait for the motion detecting system for anything that detects motion. People will walk by. 
Oh, never mind. The bike maker. Oh, there's something interesting on the next page. <gasps> Guys, the Lumberjack 26. <laughs> next, we have the blade. This is just one blade off of the Lumberjack. The balloon maker, the flying contraption that has zero use to anything. The indestructible machine. There's two men hiding behind multiple walls and there's a guy patching a hole in the wall and there's two guys yelling at him, get down, did you hear something? And it's coming through all the walls at them. Yeah, that's a very, very sane drawing. Indestructible machine two. Guys, that's, that's what I do right now, actually. I didn't even realize this. Indestructible machine three. My mind has not changed much in 12 years. The sub... I see what we did here. I had the submarine machine. It was like the one that goes on top, but now it goes under. This is the submarine machine, but I renamed it the submachine. The tidal wave buster. And what this would do is it would stop tidal waves. The road destroyer, the criminal catcher. It's grabbing a criminal, as you can see. I've always had I've always had big dreams, and one of those was to control the world. So I invented the world controller, but that was just wasn't far. I didn't get far enough with it because I still have to pay taxes. The robot too, and he's saying so long, suckers. The mega mixer, the exoskeleton machine, the skimmer boat too has a jet engine on top. Maybe there's a Monster Max in here. The force field projector. This is a horrendous idea. The mega generator, the mine detector, the gold miner two, the shrink ray, the evil iPod three, the creature creator. You can see there's a creature walking out of the... Sure. Any questions on that one? Nope. <laughs> the new version wood shredder. The evaporator, in case of floods, you need an evaporator, it evaporates the water. The meaningless machine. So this, th what this one did, did was um, the transformatron. The Transformatron 2. Um, the speed machine. It's just, it's just something with multiple jet engines on it. The mega vicious animal holder. Theater machine 2. The beehive harvester 2. The new version hot air balloon has jet engines to propel you upwards. We don't even need it. The robot 3. This is just a robot. This is genius. The complex machine. And this had multiple rooms. There's like a theater, there's multiple engines. Shoots rockets out for no reason. The mega bass truck, the, the mega bass truck actually. The Speed Machine 3. Now this is a truck with a jet engine on it. I predicted this, the pipes machine. I literally made, this is the Duramax with 100 hood stacks. I literally made this in real life, the emission reducer. Right after the pipes machine. This is a good point. I was thinking ahead. The little machine, big machine. The disc bike, the Micro Minor 3. These are just cartoons at this point. I should just burn this one. The Orper, that's not anything. The Riches Vault machine for hauling your riches around. Exoskeleton machine two. No one is doing near enough to preserve our glaciers, which is why I have invented at Machines Inc. the Glacier Preserver. And this would drive up to the glacier and cool it again. The complex machine two has a roller coaster on top. If you feel like going to the theme park, you can travel to floor five. This is volume five. We should be evolving soon, I promise. I think I got smart at some point. The glass maker too, made glass. The tunneler, some of these are horrendous actually. I'm just gonna, the tunnel rocket. The creature creator too. The all-terrain vehicle, also known as the ATV. No one had thought of that when this came out. Newsflash, we have switched to creatures, so no longer machines if animals were what I would invent. So now you're playing God. And so, yes, we have the Cyclops. This is like a giant eyeball that flies. I'm not sure why we need it, but it'd be cool. Also, I should alert, this is an alert to parents. I'm sure your kids are watching this. If your kid is not paying attention right here, you should probably make them pay attention. Uh, these are very valuable. <laughs> the Elotron, like it's an elephant that like spits things. I just feel ahead of my time on that. I'm just saying. The gnor? It's like a narwhal, but rabbit, like really aggressive. And it's killing this innocent scuba diver. The sausage mongrels. It's just, it's just sausages. The bursachi. Um, so now we have the multi-use robot. This is, it's like an animal, but with another one inside of it. There's a lot going on here. Any more questions? <laughs> if you want to look closer at their intricate designs, you can screech. <laughs> there will be a test at the end. The cans, the arisp. The Y Viper, schizophrenia. Of oh, the Bee Mop, this is like a really stinky beaver with multiple eyes, should not exist. Of oh, the Eggnogger. The Uniwing, that's a useless. Nutgicians, this is just two nuts that are magicians. This has nothing, this is not, this is useful to nut. This is. <laughs> the Mountain Blobber, it's dumping oil on itself for no reason. The Queena, like he cleans, the Queena. Look, he sucks things up. He's, hit. He's really good at sucking. The Norweepers, guys, guys. 
We're almost done. I reveal to you something that changed my life forever. The hips in Nori. Now this looks simple at first glance. It's just a sh uh, round shape with an eyeball. But unfortunately my mom made the grave mistake. I was kind of obsessed with these and I, I even made hips and Nori hunting licenses and, pat and printed them off and passed them out to people. My mom made the grave mistake of letting me uh, paint my furniture and I painted uh, hips and nories all over them. We won't talk about that though. The Crabosaur, the Kidio, the hips and wyvern. But back to the machines, guys. Back to the machine. Back to the machines. The vaccine giver. This is b way before COVID came out, which I invented later. But this gets psychotic here. The Rototron. Now this is a three-dimensional surface. You can see the road goes in a loop, and this would lay roads. It's very good at laying roads. So it shreds up the old road and it lays a new road. Oh, the mailbox smasher. There's someone's address on there. Swamp efficiency. Machine. Machines, SEM for short. I don't know what it does. The tree reviver. After the whole lumberjack Sega, uh, there was a lot of dead trees, so we had to come out with the tree reviver. Why you guys look so tired? <laughs> the space debris collector. That's very practical, actually. The time machine. The atom divider. It's a car that's an atom bomb, basically. That's a great idea. The road destroyer, too. I already, I, we don't need that. The hover chair. It's a wheelchair with jet engines. The grave digger. Just digs graves. The new version icebreaker. It just melts the ice. It, there's a uh, fire. The rock melter, too. Oh, God. The teacher torturer, too. Uh, and it's, it looks exactly identical. It just screams, you're fired. This one burns and electrocutes them. That's, cut that out, killer. We can't cut that out. The Pond Drainer 3. I kept coming back to my roots. It, it's no different than the first one, actually. The Snowboard Track Layer. This is literally a snowcat. The Oil Detector. How else do they find oil without drilling for it? The Evil iPod 4. The Deer Meat Grinder 3. This one keeps the deer heads, in case you want the antlers. The Deer Shooter 2. This mounts on the tree limbs instead of just the stump. The Cow Rounder Upper. And it's just a tank with a whip on the front. So, the edible machine. It's, it's made out of Oreos, a sausage, and an apple. The pop maker. Hold up, we have an alert, guys. We have an announcement. Nine-year-old me made this. I don't even know what it is, what's coming. But it's coming. What is coming, you may ask? This is a physical YouTube video, is what this is. Volume six. Oh. Duh. Yay. <laughs> Get discounts on all machine products by going to get discounts on all machine products.com. I, I was ahead of my, I'm telling you, there's like an extra drawing up front. My sister drew this actually. The oh. parrot feeder? That's no, really no, no, it's not that good. It's really good. No, 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 no. I, I could probably draw a better one. So we have the Planetary Explorer. We have the Mega Mower 3, the Emission Reducer 2. It's very large. It's actually emitting a lot of emissions. The Criminal Catcher 2. This one is right outside the prison. This guy tried walking through some mud and lost his boot in the mud. The new version helicopter that for some reason needs to touch the ground. <laughs> I don't know why, man. The volcano buster. Picture yourselves in the event of a volcano eruption. This simply um, puts a cat a lid on the volcano. Why have they not thought of that? Gravedigger 2, that's just an excavator. The amputator 2, less creative, actually, not a fan. It throws him in. New version wood shredder. The lightning powered glass maker. Because because when lightning strikes sand, it makes glass. So this one's powered by lightning. So all it does is it puts sand and waits for it to get struck by lightning, I think. The new version combine 2. The Sub Lava Explorer. In case you need to swim inside the volcano to uh, explore the Trench Digger 2, which makes zero physical sense. That's not possible. The trench is inside of the machine. The Meteor Blaster destroys meteors before they hit the earth. The Cow Herder 2. The Camouflage Machine. Can you spot it? Can you guys spot it? The camouflage machine? No, it's because you didn't draw it. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it's there. I promise it's there somewhere. You just gotta look really hard. The oil spill extractor. This is sometime before after the BP oil spill. I think I predicted that happening and made this. The invisible machine too. The morphing machine. So it's half machine, half animal. Maple syrup maker. The new version metal detector. And it's just a metal detector that you drive. The house destroyer too. The tree combine. This is just the lumberjack, but less efficient. The hydraulic lifter too. It's lifting itself. It's lifting its own engine. I don't really understand how that's efficient. The new version dredge. Augurotron, the fossil excavator. There's a bone sticking out and it's just physically digging it up. The ship on sinker. See, the Titan guys should have used this. You can simply hook on to the Titanic and drag it up to the surface. The train tunnel maker, but all it's doing is lighting six of dynamite in the tunnel. So it's just the same way they already make train tunnels. The cow launcher, and it's just a trebuchet that launches cows. This would just let the cow fall. The cow's already on it. Wait, guys, guys, you're gonna love what's coming up. Everybody's gonna love what's coming up. Another uh, creatures edition. So this is, no, 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 don't leave. The Tenderwoggy. Now this may sound like a dumb, stop, dude. 
Stop making fun of my ideas, bro. It's very weird. It looks like the, the monster on SpongeBob, the tongue monster. But I sold hunting licenses for these and I literally sold them for $50. I made bang. Imagine an apostrophe, but scary. Mm -hmm. Which is why I have the scare apostrophe. <laughs> Machines again. The gnome smasher, useless. The gnome smasher too. <laughs> the fuzzifier. Imagine a world where everything's fuzzy. I don't know what this means, but it sounds horrific. The mongrels are coming. This is, guys, I don't know what was wrong with me, but the Rototron 2. Now this gets off the rails volume seven, but the Rototron two and a half. There's so many models, I had to fit a half model in there because we were, we we're improving at drastic rates. The Rototron two and three quarters. Okay. Um, we're not even to three yet and it's getting exciting. Dude, I'm getting pissed off. Creatures again. <laughs> this is the two-legged trail hopper, bro. This thing's extinct. This, this guy shouldn't even exist. The kidney burner. The night mongrel. The day mongrel. The French mongrel, bro, has a mustache. The fuzz mongrel. The spotted mongrel. Why did, why did everybody make fun of me in school? These are great ideas. The greater mongrel, he's just bigger. I invented species before scientists invented the scientific names. The lesser mongrel. Bro is lesser, he's smaller, yes. The dwarf mongrel, he's very tiny. He's dwarfed. The siren mongrel, he just, he's loud. The western mongrel, now he's got a cowboy hat and he's quite wild. The eastern mongrel, bro's got a dollar sign and a dollar sign hat. Bro is very eastern, he's from like New York City. There's ads in this. Do you wanna win three billion dollars? If so, call this number in 10, 10 years. Actually? Yes. Shut up. Do you wanna win three billion dollars? If so, call this number in oh, 10 years. 1-800-PLATYPUS. Okay, here we go. Is there a password in the book? There's no code. I don't have the password. 2024. 2024. You have exceeded the number of tries. How is 1 800 platypus a real number? So, this is volume seven. We're getting there. The avalanche stopper. So, this is a very um, good idea for snowboarders. Uh, you think about avalanches is they're really fast. Uh, this is faster. The Meteor Blaster 2. They're very good at blasting meteors. Meteor Blaster 3. Literally the same. Shocking. But, ugh, son of a bitch. Just skip it. No, no, no. Last time I almost won us $3 billion. If you would've got the passcode right, the Spike Mongrel. But guys, you'll be happy to know, it literally says, this is the end of the creature edition. Aww. One page. Yeah, just, I forgot one mongrel on the last one. The Sheep Shaver, the Rototron 3. And this is when the company Road Tech was invented. Road Tech is a paver brand and I literally took it and put it on these, but I would tell my mom I wanted to go to town to see the pavers parked along the road when they were paving new highways and I'd have her parked there for like five minutes while I just like wrote down and took all the ideas from it. Oh, the Rototron 4, it's shredding the Golden Gate Bridge and it's paving a new one. What else could do that? The R5, not even Rototron, it's the R5, I abbreviate it. If this was Apple, I'd be in my $10 billion year right now. Come on, guys, no, this, is, this one's good. You can't always get them. The R6 will though, which is why this one looks very aggressive. If planes go up, why is runway flat? Cody is blind and autistic. The R7, two loop-de-loops, just better than the last one. The R8, the R8, the, the R8, the Rototron R8 is equivalent of paving a jump and also has a little UFO counterpart where uh, employees can uh, scout out other areas and come back. Is there an R9? Um, no, probably not. Oh yes, there is. The, uh, so the R9 Scorpion edition. There is no problem for the R10. This is the R11. And as you can see, it's shredding multiple roads. The R12 and the R12 and a half. These are very ahead of their time. This could pave roads in twisties. The R13, very capable of paving um, multiple roads at the same time. The R14, more loop-de-loops. That was about when our company got sued and almost shut down, but I, we made it through just in time to develop the R15. We changed a lot on that one. We came out with um, the Scorpion Edition 2. This is the R16. Guys, 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 I need, I need full attention. These are um, once in a lifetime opportunity. But the R17, was a <laughs> the R18 underwater roads. I've, I've evolved and I've moved on and now we're subterranean. The R19, no different than the rest. The volcanic energy harnesser. Oh, finally. In case, good. no, 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 listen, yeah, exactly. It bolts onto the top of the volcano and when it erupts, it harnesses all the energy. The R20, um, no, 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 guys, 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 stop. Look how busy that road is, look. The horseshoe putter on her. A very genius idea, and it slaps the, sh the horseshoe on, and then it looks like it, he's panicked. It kind of throws him off into the grass a little. It could use some improvement, actually. The R21? Just skip them, um, they're all the same. If we compare the 21st one to the first one, look at how far we've gotten. The baseball bat maker. I'm not sure why this is still a vehicle. This is just, this doesn't need to be a vehicle. He's always on the go, man. <laughs> why are they all vehicles? Bro. My mind is one track minded, but 
all the tracks. The snowball roller. How else are you going to roll your balls? Uh, I don't. Um, <laughs> the instant cooking oven. It says keep away from children and combustible items. And there's flames pouring out of the side. It cooks it very instantly. Yeah. Microwaves are not fast enough that they're no match for this. The earthquake stopper. Riddle me this. Giant earthquake. How do you stop it? The earthquake stopper. This one's a little off the rails, but b bear with me. The face transplanter. Uh, so a lot of people I heard were getting face trans. There was like a news article about a guy that got a face transplant. This is a machine that does it. And there's a robot viciously ripping his face off. The carpet layer. I don't know why we're laying carpet outside. The tire maker too. It, it, it just, this is pointless. The dog washer. The math book shredders. <laughs> yeah, you guys like math? Yeah, me neither. The machine factory too. So my company got so large we had to upgrade and we built a new factory um, in Austin, Texas. Twice as big as Tesla's biggest factory, but that's Machines Inc. Never heard of it. Uh, number two. The Leaf Raker. It's a giant leaf rake. Lumberjack 27, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another Creatures Edition. <laughs> the Five Mouthed Puke Kittyo. It's a cat that pukes a lot. The Poncacalophus. Your worst nightmare. He says, sleep tight. The Offspring of Mary's Little Lamb. He says, don't look behind you. He, he, he. Ew. Yeah, he, he looks. Though. I wouldn't even hang out with him, man. Back to the machines. The hairball extractor. So this reaches viciously and aggressively down the throat of your dog. <laughs> the TV crusher and recycler. Very, yeah, that's good. The teacher torturer three. Okay, there's two torture chambers now. This is, this is, <laughs> two girls had a crush on me and wrote notes to me. Wait, 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 um, wait, wait. You guys might have thought I was weird and that I was an outcast for drawing all these, but the girls loved it. So Aubrey says, these are all very nice. Very nice, Cody. <laughs> Wait, I thought these girls had a crush on me. They were just making fun of me subliminally. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Stop. <laughs> you should probably stop making roads. We have people for that. Well, Aubrey, um, Aubrey's not thinking into the future. <laughs> Everybody's hating. I was looking into the future. Every single current, like we have people for that. Not when everybody's extinct. There's another fan note from a girl that has a crush on me. I have a girlfriend, by the way, so don't even think about it. Megan says, okay, well, I think you should make whales. That would be awesome. But all the things that you make are cool, LOL. Megan's a fan. The Deer Shooter 3. The Deer Meat Grinder 4. The deer don't even exist, and it's just powder by the time they're done. The Micro R. The Micro Road for small roads. I didn't listen to, Aub yeah, Aubrey actually affected me there. I think I toned it down. <laughs> My passion was crushed on that day. The Math Book Shredder 2, though. They stopped making the blue notepads at this point and started, I couldn't find the blue ones anymore. This is written in pencil, so we have wood core samplers, in case you want to core sample a tree. Evil Bunny Hopper, I'm not. I don't need to show anybody that. The alien capturer. The worm enlarger. So small worms are going into one end and large worms are, stop guys, this is not funny. The super bear proof dumpster. He's really attempting to get into this dumpster and he, it's, it's not gonna be possible. The fish skinner. It's just a bunch of knives spinning around. The de skinnerator. A creature, <laughs> creatures. I'm, I'm not. This is dumb, man. The two-mouthed soap bottle shooting whipnog. The bad grammar animal. It says, I is pretty. <laughs> There's no reason I should own this Lamborghini. It just says, I don't know. I just gave up. Mailbox smasher crossed out shredder. It smashes and shreds. The super water pump. It's just a giant water pump. The new version atom bomb. And this is just what I would invent if I invented the atom bomb or what I have invented already. The cow launcher too. Much more efficient design. My cousin messed up the last one. I drew better cows this time. The super bug zapper. The boulder shredder. Really good at um, shredding large rocks. The concrete remover. The strawberry jam maker. The paper maker too. The document shredder before and after, and there's like a document and then it's shredded in an obliteration. The grade setter. This is like a skid steer, but like practical. It just sets the grade without Ooh, even doing it. I was actually like expecting like it was grading your test. No, 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 no. It doesn't change my Fs to an A. I didn't, well, I didn't get Fs. I'm not saying that I did, but. Okay, okay. M820, the PSI regulator. I swear I thought of this before Mercedes did. And I told my dad, we're working on a roof that day. And anyways, it, it's, uh, it's mounted to your axle. It pumps up air when your tire's low. And I told my dad, I said, I want to get a patent for it. I was literally like 13. And he's like, no, I think Mercedes already thought of that. And they literally did. It's on military trucks. But I thought of it first. Mercedes sold that from me. The deforester, the water purificator 6000, which is much needed after the emissions my factory put out in 22. The grade setter 2. The grade setter 3. These grade, very uneven grades. The water work. So it's, uh, I, started, I started getting smart at this age. I think it was, I was 23. 
Um, but it's a. <laughs> <laughs> My sister thought of this, the pool destroyer. That's a dumb idea. That, that wouldn't. Good. No, that's a dumb idea. The scraping brush. Nobody thought of this when I've thought of it. It's a brush with a scraper. Literally a brush. Stop, dude. The food tube. Drink your own food. It's a guy that's injured. And he's drinking KFC chicken because it shreds it enough to uh, ingest. The ethanol maker. I was very smart. I designed a whole ethanol factory at nine. The shoe shiner. I don't know why we need gasoline to shine the shoes, but the cowapult. This is a much larger cow catapult with better, worse angles, actually. The cup maker makes cups. The mulch maker just makes, any questions on that one? Nope. Um, the PEP, the PEP, the portable exhaust purifier, a bolt-on unit. I thought of this literally before the EPA came out and I was ahead of my time and I should get paid by them for this, but it bolts onto your exhaust muffler. There's a semi-exhaust bolts on to purify the air. The eco-friendly flamethrower throws flames without hurting the environment. The sidewalk maker, the crankshaft maker. The major pitfall of the crankshaft maker is that it's built entirely out of crankshafts. So if it breaks, you can't make a new one. The graffiti remover, the trash can maker, extremely complex invention for that. There's no reason for, be, for it to be that complex. <laughs> the license plate maker, the cigarette destroyer. I have something against people that smoke. I'm sorry, it just seems unhealthy. The brick layer, that's no different than the house brick layer. The super laundry cleaner. It's just a large washing machine. The new version garbage compactor. It's very simple. Very large compactors that compress the whatever is inside. The food tube two. It feeds three disabled people. That's it. That was volume eight. All right. Machines volume nine. Guys, hang in there. September 2011. The pencil maker. Bigger than the tree. The dog bone maker. There's an innocent cow walking into this one again, actually. He's, it's just shredding cows. The ammo maker. The advanced rototron. It actually, it's, okay. All right, the maple syrup getter three. I realized that maple syrup is made in the trees at this point, so we didn't need to make it. We just get it. Um, <laughs> okay, stop, everybody stop. Genius idea alert, the non-shock engine, right? So when you start an engine, you feel it rumble a little. I just made it balanced. So it's perfectly balanced. There's a, there's a counterweight, you feel nothing. The food tube three, this is no different than the first one, except the, the KFC bucket's bigger. The portable exhaust purifier two, this is worse than the first one actually. The tree reviver two, it's rebuilding the tree piece by piece. It picks up the mulch and just sticks it back on. The instant cooking oven two, there's three giant gas cylinders immediately torching your meal. The auto nailer, so we would actually have to nail hardwood floors and my back would hurt after a while. I was like six. <laughs> The shoe shiner too. Why am I shining shoes? I'm, this is pointless. The indestructible machine four. The deer shooter four and four and a half. It's just in a bush now. The PSI regulator two. Look guys, hey, guys, there's a colored edition. Oh, all right. Yeah, see? That's Look, it's so much more exciting. Yeah, you can, you can see it in, in vivid color. The deer shooter five. I named it another pond drainer and you can see the blue pond here to visualize the... <laughs> Stop guys. Guys, these are not the same 10 inventions. <laughs> the Flemadogi. It's a dog with any legs. <laughs> the Miser Scorna. The Slam Kitty. The Explosives Tester. Internally fires explosives to test their percussion without any external effects. The Cannon Puller. In Civil Wars, they had to pull cannons up the hills. This pulls them for you. I expected cannons to come back, but they never did after. They just, just started making cameras. The new version Bear Trap. It's, it just chops their feet off. The every single terrain in the world vehicle. So it's like the all TV, but the every single terrain. I, mean, I thought these were in color. Okay, sorry, they're getting, yeah, I forgot. The Tornado Simulator. Who didn't think of that at 20? The handlebar maker, the window remover. Was I like 17 or four here? Something happened dr drastically in my brain. Your creativity rose. My creativity rose. This is the school destroyer and um, it's a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> the pet walker and it's a little tracked machine going 85 miles an hour. <laughs> the mail bringer, a mailbox outside with a tube that goes into your living room. He's onto something here. I'm onto something, who didn't think of this? The juicer, the braider, and it, you, it's a machine that attaches to a girl's hair to braid it quicker. Hmm. The giller, and you can breathe underwater with it. The new version tree shredder, you just put it on top and it falls down to the bottom with gravity. I swear to God, if this is another creature, the Pondakinuckus, the Chuckatucka Who Hand. <laughs> Volume 10 coming July. Everybody was anticipating it. I told all my friends and they were like, yeah, great job, Cody. Can't wait to see the next one. All my friends were anticipating this. That was special ed. I, I'm starting to think I wasn't that smart. <laughs> no, 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 well, there's one more. There's one more, guys. Look, Volume 10, it's the short book. The short book. This is 12 years ago. I was 13 years old. Another pond drainer. 
Do you think that's a good? Uh, start with the OG. Yeah. Right yeah. Another rock shredder melter. The food tube 4.0. It dumps buckets of chicken into the bigger bucket of chicken. The food tube 3600 just forcefully injects the food. I'm really hungry. I think that was it. I think it just says licenses, and this is where I have. Um, there's a worm tackling license. Stop laughing. Northwestern License Corporation was my license company. Kids bought these, actually. I, I was making bank. The dinosaur trapping license. These were rare. Oh, and then it goes back to machines. So, uh, wait, never mind. I feel like showing you creatures instead. <laughs> Warning, the organisms you're about to see are forbidden. Do not speak of them. May give children nightmares. It's just a bunch of rabbit animals. Um, back to the machines again. So I think I was really going through something at this time. Another light machine. The shipwreck pod, it's just a submarine. The smart bullet. So this is an aimable bullet with a remote control. And after you fire it, you can just drive it around, fly it around, but there's a lot of deaths because people were just, it's too fast to control. The climate dome. I was doing construction with my dad and it was super, super hot out. And I was like, why do they not have a dome that we can just put over us that has like air conditioning? The prosthetic heart. Wait, you invented that? The, the prosthetic heart, yes. I invented the lung turbo. Um, so stop, stop laughing. The prosthetic eye, why are they not a computer that just tells you what you're seeing? I'm ahead of Elon Musk. This is what he's doing now. I was doing this at nine, I mean 12. The prosthetic stomach, the prosthetic throat, the professional sculpting tool. Fires small projectiles at a piece of marble or whatever you want to sculpt until it sculpts out whatever it needs to. That was ahead of its time. The combo hydraulic, a 90 degree angle hydraulic. The robotic rug system. Why have a rug that just stays in one spot? There it is, guys. 10 volumes that I made of inventions throughout my childhood. I'm very proud of those. Please don't steal my ideas. I really appreciate you all listening. I really think that those are a lot of insight in my childhood and how I put a lot of emphasis into educating myself. All the other kids were goofing off while I was thinking of new inventions to improve Earth. Did you execute any of those? Ideas? I executed 70 cows on the cow. Oh, no. the ideas. The ideas. The super mud swamper. That's true. And if anybody steals my inventions, I will sue you with the, the lawsuit maker machine. <laughs> 